back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you how to add transitions into your Power Director app projects. So first you just make a project and choose whatever aspect ratio you want. And today I have three images, the logo for both my channels and the last thumbnail, or one of the last, the latest thumbnails that I just happened to have. So first, I don't know why I added this, but you uh, select, go to pan and zoom effect and set no effect and apply to all. That way they stop moving. So then the rest is pretty simple. You just click on this in between the uh, clips or images and then you pick whichever one you want. Are lots and if you have premium like me you could you have all these unlocked so here's a glitch one I could have this one for here and for this one I could add this one so after you tap on your and you pick them out then they will just play so I'm, whatever the effect was that, that um, shows up there like that so then those are like a couple of glitch effects so then we could go um, also get some other ones so you could have this one and you click on this one because that's the one that I want and then you press this plus sign and then it adds it there so now instead of that glitch effect in that spot, now it's going to have this other effect. So for this one, there are all these two. I haven't used any of these. But we could also add this one. Oh, this one's good. So then after that, then it shows this one. And if you're confused on what the transitions look like, right here, on these preview images, um, they all have some sort of A and B, or a mix of both. So like this one has A and B, so A would be your first image, and B would be your second one. So that's how they look like, so right now it says and um, basically that's how it's going to look like at some point. You could um, play this and it shows when it slides over. You can see that's where the A and B thing comes up in. So like I was saying earlier, A is the first one and the one after it is B. And it shows it exactly how it showed it. But instead of the images, it shows you the letters. And if you're confused on how I did the thing earlier, where you have, we have it show you how it looks like. Oh, wait, I just did it again. You click on whichever one you want to see, and then there's like a play button down here. Oh, wait, hey, down here, and then it just shows you how it looks like. So, yeah, that's it for this video. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.